Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. And today I am going to be taking a look at the very short and impressive catalogue for the ECM label from one of the finest guitar players in the world and certainly one of the best to come out of Hungary. And he's been around since the 1980s but he's not very well known to audiences, but at the same time, he is very highly regarded and highly respected as a guitar player in his field. And he's played and collaborated with a number of different artists from Jerry Barron to Charlie Bird, to Herb Ellis, to Richard Bonner, to Bobby McFerrin, to David Friedman, to Michelle Goddard, to Anders Jorman, to Diddler Lockwood, to James Moody and Ernie Wilkins. And he also written and composed the music for the film For My People, for guitar and orchestra. And his son was the star of that movie. The gentleman I am talking about is, of course, the one and only Hungarian guitarist, composer and band leader, Fernik Snetberger. And for today's edition, I am going to be taking a look at his ECM catalogue of albums, which is a total of three recordings, two live albums and one studio album. Now, the interesting thing about Fernie Snetberger is he mostly concentrates on classical guitar in a manner very similar to the legendary Ralph Towner, but by no means he is not a Ralph Towner clone. He is very much his own man, with his own style of playing, and his own voice and unique sound. And when you hear him, you know straight away who it is, because he has a very distinct sound on the classical guitar. And he has dabbled in all styles of music, mostly jazz and classical music. So, as always, I am going to be talking about each album individually, and I'll be choosing which one I think is the best one. Not an easy challenge when you've only got three albums, but all three of Fernix Netberger's albums are all different. Very similar in terms of the sound, but they're all different. They all have their own identity. And I think with this very short catalogue of albums, I think there's some great stuff here and there's some unbelievable guitar playing from the man himself. So we're going to start with the first album which came out in 2016 and this is a live album in concert. So this is a live solo guitar performance that took place in Litz Academy in Budapest and for me this was my first introduction to Ferenc Snetberger as a guitar player and his music and this is a lovely recording as I said very similar to some of Ralph Towner's solo guitar albums that he put out over the course of his legendary career but I think this is a fantastic album if you're looking to get into Ferenc Snetberger's music so we've got Budapest parts one to eight and we've got a cover version of the iconic Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Lovely stuff here. So let's have a quick look. I think for a lot of people who are into acoustic guitar playing or solo guitar, this is a great guy to check out, I think, in my opinion. So let's have a look. So there is the man himself there is the man in performance mode and there's the track listing so all of the tracks are written and composed by Fernick Snetberger with the exception of one track which was written and composed by Harold Arlen and E.Y. Harbog so let's have a look Anyone who's watched films of him or has seen him live is an amazing guitar player, I think. 
Let's mare again. And we've got some sleeve notes here as well. So, as I said, most of the tracks are written and composed by Fernand Snethberger. So, part one is 8 minutes and 13 seconds long. Part two is the longest track on the album, which is 10 minutes and 53 seconds. Part three is 6 minutes and 28 seconds. Part four is 6 minutes and 1 second. Part five is 7 minutes and 19 seconds long. Part six, 5 minutes and 9 seconds long. Part seven, 5 minutes and 25 seconds. And the second longest track, which is part eight, is 7 minutes and 37 seconds long. And the shortest track, which is cover version of somewhere over the rainbow is like three minutes and six some lovely music here some great playing standout tracks for me is somewhere over the rainbow part two and part eight and part five and part one but overall an excellent live recording and definitely has some similarities to Ralph Telner, I think, but a lovely recording, highly recommended for anyone who enjoys solo guitar, or more specifically, solo live guitar, but an enjoyable album nonetheless. So there you have it, Fernand Snetberger's debut for ECM Records in concert, excellent album, and a very lovely and pleasing listening experience, excellent stuff. So we move on to the next album, and this is a studio album, and we see Ferenc Snetberger change gears here slightly, and this is a trio recording that came out in 2017. This is called Titok. So Titok is a trio recording, and it features two legendary musicians, one who's been a cornerstone of the ECM well over four decades and one of the most legendary figures in the history of music i'm talking about of course bassist and his jawman and drummer joey baron so this is a trio recording and of course it features ferenit snetberger on guitar excellent album if you love guitar trio this is definitely one to check out very laid back very much in the unplugged acoustic realm so there's not much in the way of electric it's acoustic guitar acoustic bass and drums but on a much more smaller scale so really enjoyable and a great showcase not only for Fernand Snedberger's guitar playing but also for the rhythm section of Anders Jorman and Jerry Barron who combined they've played with just about everyone you can imagine so let's have a look shall we So there is the man himself. No picture of the trio. Surprising. So we've got 13 tracks, and most of them are quite relatively short tracks. There are a couple of long tracks, and they're all written and composed by Ferenc Snedberger. So the first track we got is Cuckoo, the title track, Titok, Kek Kurek, Rambling, Orange Tango. Fairy Tale, Along, Leolo, Ease, Renaissance, Clown, Rush, and Inference. So, great collection of music. All three musicians sound incredible. Great solid bass work from Anders Jorman, who, in my opinion, is one of the main basis for the ECM label and one of the cornerstones and certainly one of the most important musicians who helped shape the sound of ECM that we know now and Joey Barron what more can you say the man is a living legend one of the most iconic drummers of all time and he's played with just about everyone you can imagine and of course Ferenit Snetberger an outstanding guitar player so standout tracks for me are the title track, Titok, Rambling, which is the longest track on the album, which is like seven minutes and 22 seconds long. 
Alom, which is the second longest track, which is at like seven minutes and five seconds. Renaissance, another great track. Clown, Rush, and Inference, and Fairy Tale. But excellent stuff here. And very surprised that he didn't do more with this trio because I think, quite frankly, all three musicians just sound absolutely tremendous together. So there you have it. Farinit Snedberg Trio with Anders Jorman and Joey Barron. Tidok, very enjoyable and certainly one of the best guitar trio albums I've heard from the ECM label in quite a while. Highly enjoyable. Great playing from all three musicians. I would say the standout musician of the trio, with all due respect to Snedberger and Baron, I would say it's Jorman. His bass playing is just absolutely incredible, very laid back. And for me, it's that laid back style of playing that really puts this album over the top. It's just really, really good. And there's a lot of him. You know, there's plenty of bass solos to get your teeth into. And to me, he's the real difference maker of this album and this trio in particular. Excellent stuff here. Highly enjoyable. Definitely worth checking out. So there you have it. Farinit Snedberger, Trio, Titok. Great stuff here, I must say. So we move on to the next album. And once again, Farinit Snedberger changes gears. And this is a live recording, this time on the ECM new series of the label. So the ECM new series is more like a classical label which specializes and concentrates on classical music. So you've got ECM that does all jazz and avant-garde and that sort of thing. And on the ECM new series side of things, they mainly concentrate on chamber music and classical music on a more orchestral level. So this next album came out in 2021, and it's a live recording that took place in Budapest, and this is called Holgato. So Holgato is a classical live album with Ferenc Snetberg on guitar and the Keller Quartet. So they're more like a string orchestra, which is comprised of Andreas Keller, Zesofia Coniel on violin, Gabor Homoki on viola, Lazolo Fenio on violoncello, and Gulia Lazar on acoustic bass. So We've got a number of different classical pieces here. So Ferenc Snetberger has written and composed the Concerto for Guitar and Orchestra in memory of My People, which is the movie that he scored many years ago. And this is his version for Guitar and String Quintet. And then we've got Dmitry Shutkovyov, String Orchestra Number no. 8 in C minor. Then we've got John Dowland, I Saw My Lady, Weep, which is for guitar and string quartet, Flow My Tears for guitar and violoncello, and then we got Samuel Barber's legendary Adagio for strings, and then we got another original composition by Ferenc Snedberger, Your Smile for solo guitar, Rhapsody Number no. 1 for guitar and orchestra, which is a version for guitar and string quintet. I very much enjoy classical music. This is certainly one of the best live classical albums I've heard for classical guitar and orchestra in quite some time. It's really, really good. Very long, but at the same time, really pleasing and very soothing as well. So let's have a look, shall we? Definitely one for the books i think i think this is definitely one worth checking out so there he is arriving there's a list of the musicians who play on the album and who's credited in the compositions and there they all are this must have been a amazing thing to see in person 
certainly something I'd like to see one do. So we've got 13 tracks, but they've all divided up into like different sections of the gig. So tracks one to three is Hollow Gato, Emily Kick, and Tank. And then tracks four to eight, which is by Dmitry Shuskovgyov, String Quartet number eight in C minor. So we got Largo, Allegro, Molto, Allegretto, Largo, and Largo. So there's like two different versions of Largo. And then tracks nine and ten by John Dowland, I Saw My Leap, and Flow My Tears. And of course, the legendary Samuel Barber's Adagio for strings. And then we got two more Fahrenheit Snedberger originals, Your Smile and Rhapsody Number no. One for guitar and orchestra. So the longest track on this album, certainly of the entire concert, is the last track, The Closer, which is like almost 11 minutes long, clocking in at 10 minutes and 55 seconds. But most of the tracks on here pretty much all go into one another so they're all quite relatively short so they're all clocking in at around six minutes to four minutes and two minutes long and three minutes long and the second longest track which is Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings which is like seven minutes and 21 seconds long so we've got the sleeve notes here obviously in a different language, which, which was provided by Wolfgang Sadny. And gorgeous shots of the venue and the performance. And then we got the English translation of the sleeve notes as well, which was translated by J. Bradford Robinson. So there's some more sleeve notes here about Fahrenheit Snedberger and the performance. And there they are, just wrapping up the gig. So the standout tracks for me are Rhapsody Number no. One for guitar and orchestra, the concerto for guitar and orchestra in memory of my people, tracks one to three. That's a gorgeous standout piece for me and string quartet number eight in c minor that's the standout for me and of course samuel barber's adagio for strings string quartet 11 gorgeous stuff here but very enjoyable live classical album with some excellent guitar playing from Fahrenheit Snetsberger and more importantly unbelievable playing from the string orchestra really really beautiful so there you have it Fahrenheit Snetsberger Keller Quartet Hall Gato beautiful classical album if you're looking to get into the ECM new series side of music Highly recommend you check this album out. I think this is a beautiful recording. Certainly one of the best albums from the ECM new series side of the label. Really, really good. And it's a perfect showcase for Snedberger's guitar playing. If you're more into the traditional classical side of guitar playing, then this is definitely one I think to check out. So there you have it. Fahrenheit Snedberg Quartet Hall Gator. Beautiful album. So, which album from the ECM catalogue of Fahrenheit Snedberger do I think is the best? Well, all three are great. All three are different. They all have their own identity. They all have their own unique sound. But I definitely would have to go with Titok, the trio recording. I think this is some of his best guitar playing. I do enjoy the classical album. I do enjoy the solo guitar album, both live. But for me, this was a really good album. And this was something that I really was hoping to see from Snedberger. Just him and his guitar in a trio environment. And 
it doesn't get any better than Anders Jorman and Joey Barron. They make an amazing rhythm section and combined, they're just legendary. You know, they've done it all, you know, individually. So, you know, you can't go wrong with two guys of that le level and caliber. But for me, I'm going with the trio recording Titok with Jorman and Barron. It's a beautiful album, great bass playing, great drumming, and of course, amazing guitar playing. So there you have it. Fernand Snefberger, Titok with Anders Jorman and Joey Barron, my favorites of the ECM trilogy of albums by Fernand Snefberger. Excellent stuff here. So that's going to be it for me. I am going to wrap this up now. What's your favorite album from Fernand Snedberger's ECM catalog of albums? Is it In Concert? Is it Titok or Horgato? There's no right or wrong answer. We all have our favorite albums. You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. So until next time, take care everybody and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.